Uh, the Russians want proof. Are the Brits going to hand proof over? I wouldn't have thought they'll be handing the proof over the way the Russians want it. They've been asking for their own sample of the nerve agent so they can test it themselves. I don't think that's going to happen. Well, certainly the British have shown no inclination that they plan to hand that over. But as you mentioned there, the Organisation for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons is here now in the UK. It is doing its own test. So there will be some sort of independent verification, I guess, that will be offered. But that won't be quickly because we understand it's going to take at least two weeks before those samples uh, will be tested and the results will be out. So there's still some waiting time there, still some time for the rhetoric to really ramp up between uh, Russia and the UK. But it's interesting this call from Russia sort of saying proof or apologise and Boris Johnson saying well actually this is just all part of Russia's deny, deny, deny strategy that they've taken along uh, the whole way. We heard from Vladimir Putin over the weekend him saying that he considers it nonsense that Russia would be behind this and uh, Boris Johnson hitting back today while he's in Brussels with typical Boris Flair. Uh, quite an interesting quote where he uh, has accused uh, the Russians of hiding a needle of truth in a haystack of lies. <laughs> so it goes on. Uh, we've also had the EU coming out today saying uh, that it's expressing unqualified solidarity with the UK. Now we know the UK wanted the EU support. Is that statement going to be enough for them? Well, I think they've got, to some degree, some relief there. The EU's on their side. They've said, we're with you, we're behind you. But they haven't actually named Russia uh, as, the, as the company, the person, the country, whatever you want to call it, behind this attack. So they might be a little disappointed they didn't go that extra step, the EU. And also, there's, of course, no talk of any tangible action, so no talk of sanctions or anything like that. But perhaps we might see that down the track if these tests being carried out uh, by the Organisation for the Probably of chemical weapons perhaps do come back and say definitively that Russia's behind the attack, then perhaps you can expect to see some sort of action there. I should incidentally just say, we're just hearing that a car used to transport Yulia Skripal from the airport when she arrived here has now been taken in for sample testing as well, for analysis. So that tells us that the police investigation is still very much going on. So on the one hand, we've got this diplomatic crisis, but the police still sort of almost scrambling to get more evidence. Yeah, and that investigation net widening all the time. Mm.